Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. From the title of the video, you know that I'm going to talk about the Dyson Corral, the hair straightener. So I actually got this a few months ago. I got it as a gift for my birthday and I have loved it ever since. I use it, well not every day because I don't like even wash my hair every day, but I use it at least three times a week I would say and it is one of my absolute favorite products. So the reason why I wanted to do a review on it is because before I purchased it, or not before I purchased it, before asking for it as a gift, I did a lot of research about it just to see if it was truly worth it because I mean, it does have a hefty price tag. So I understand that it is not a cheap product by any means, but when I say it is worth it, I mean, it is absolutely worth it. But I know that I did a lot of research and I wanted to like see exactly how it works. So I want to try to create a review where you see exactly how this hair straightener works and why I think it's worth it. I actually also have the Dyson Airwrap, which is like the tool that has multiple um, attachments and it works to like dry your hair, straighten it, curl it, uh, blow dry it, like a million different things and I absolutely love it. But I wanted to have a straightener because even though that one like relatively straightens my hair, it doesn't leave it like fully straight, which is what I was looking for and that's why I got this one. However, since I had the air wrap, I knew the Dyson hair products are high quality and I absolutely love them. I mean, I also have the Dyson fan, I have the Dyson um, vacuum, and so like I know the Dyson products are really, really good. Their warranty is amazing as well. So I just know that I'm dealing with good technology and I knew that the price tag was hefty for a reason. However, the main thing that attracted me to this was the fact that it is cordless. Like you literally can just use it without having to have it attached to something. So you don't have to, you know, you're like, doing your hair and whatever and you can do it anywhere you don't have to just like get all tangled with cords or like you know get in the way of other people or anything you're just like free to use this anywhere so number one that was my selling point was the fact that i don't have to attach it to anything and sure i mean the battery does die after a while but like i personally get like four uses from one battery charge which is pretty good obviously it depends on your hair so i have relatively straight hair though i will say i have very long hair so I mean, it does take a little bit longer to straighten than it does with other hairs or hair types. But like I said, I get about four uses per charge, which is really good. And so like, I know that once I'm running low, it actually starts beeping to let you know that it is running low. And I just charge it and it takes, I want to say less than an hour for it to be fully charged. According to Dyson, it takes 40 minutes to be 90% charged. In my opinion, I mean, I've never like had to charge it and then use it right away. So I haven't really timed it, but I know for a fact that it is an hour or less for it to be fully charged. So because the Dyson is cordless, obviously like you need to put it somewhere when you're using it. Um, it comes with a cool little stand. And so basically you just like place it right here and then it just chills there. So if you're using it and you know you need to like take a break or something, you just like put it in here and it stays there. Also, this works to charge it. So you have two options. You can charge it from here, like from the bottom. And if for some reason you're running out of battery and you need to charge it while still using it, you can just plug it in here, plug it to the wall, and then continue using it like a regular hair straightener that is, you know, plugged to the wall. Or you just place it in here. And then the back has that little magnet so that you charge it from there. Like you just like hook it up there, put connect it to the wall, and then that's it. It starts charging. I will show you the charger. I mean, it's not that exciting. It's just a charger, you know? So like this head goes on the wall, but then this is the side that goes on the straightener or on the little stand. So it's magnetic actually, which is pretty cool. And you just do that like literally, I don't know. I mean, I find it exciting, but I guess it's just a magnetic charging thing. Anywho, if you're traveling or you just don't want to use the stand for whatever reason, it also comes with this little travel pouch. So you just open it. This is where you put the hair straightener. And this is all heat resistant, so you can actually just like, you know, set it on the bathroom counter or wherever you're straining your hair. Just like put it there and you're all good. Speaking of traveling, um, it does have a lithium battery, so you're not technically supposed to travel with it like that, but it has a travel mode. So you can just disconnect the battery. All you gotta do is just like pull it out. There you go, that's all you gotta do. And it comes out. And then you close it, so you just like close it like this, pull it down, all good. This is still hanging out, and the travel pouch actually comes with this little thing so that you can store the battery in there. So just very gently store it away, I need two hands. There we go, you store it away. And you can put your Dyson in here, there. Okay, this is a little bit harder to film than I thought. But anyway, there's the Dyson, you just like wrap it in here and you're ready to travel with it. That's it, that's all you need to do. No need to worry about the battery or anything like that. It's got the travel mode. 
Oh, and if you want to double check that it is on travel mode, um, just tr turn it on by like pressing this button. And you will see right there. That little airplane means that it is on travel mode. So it won't be an issue. Okay, so now getting into the specs of the Corel. Um, it does have an OLED screen, which is the one that I showed you when I put in the uh, airplane mode. So I just connected the battery again. And if you want to turn it on, you just have to hold the power button. And then you can hold the plus button. And that's how you can select your temperature. So you have three different degrees, 330 degrees, 365, or 410. I personally use 365, which is the middle one. Um, and it's just the one that works well for my hair. But if you need to decrease, you obviously just go down, or if you need to increase, you can just go up. That little beep that you just heard means that it is ready to be used. It has this little check. So you'll know when it's ready to be used. And it'll show you how much battery you have left before it runs out. It'll also beep to let you know when it is running out of battery. To turn it off, you just literally hold the power button and it turns off. It'll still flash red, which means that it is still warm and it won't stop flashing or like the light won't turn off until it's fully cooled off and then it means that you can just like store it away. As I mentioned, you have three different temperatures to choose from. Um, I know three sounds like very little if you think about it, but it actually is great. I use 365 like I mentioned, it works pretty well. Um, I have relatively straight hair, medium um, I would say. And it works just fine, but obviously if you have very thin hair or very straight hair already that you're just trying to like finish styling, you can just use the 330. Or if you have very thick hair and like curly hair, 410 would probably be the way to go. I personally, just based on my hair type, get about four uses per battery charge. However, I do know people that, you know, they have very thick curly hair and they probably get just like one use at most. I was reading some reviews before buying it and I heard from some people that it was just like, one use it would just like drain the battery just because they have super curly hair but when i was reading about it you know i was considering my hair type and i was like there's just no way that my hair is going to use up everything in one battery charge so that works for me personally but like i said it obviously ultimately depends on your hair type that's how you're going to know what works best for you or not um but i get about four uses per charge I will say even though it is cordless and you can just like move it everywhere, it is slightly heavy. I wouldn't say it's like crazy heavy that you're like lifting weights, not at all. But it does get heavy after a while. Like you're using it and you're kind of like, okay, I need to like set it down for a second, let my arm rest, and then I'll pick it back up. So sometimes I do have to take like a quick mini break, but nothing crazy. It's just it is a little bit heavier than your average hair straightener. The reason why I really wanted this one besides being, you know, cord free and all these things is because it actually is pretty good for your hair. Obviously using heat on your hair is quite damaging and it is not really ideal, but the Dyson Corral or actually most Dyson hair products have been designed to, you know, avoid that much hair damage as you get from your regular hair styling tools. It has a sensor that regulates the plates, so it regulates them 100 times per second, that's what they say. Um, and it just makes sure that it is all temperature controlled and it's not going to like spike or decrease, so you're getting like a very stabilized temperature that is not really changing for your hair. It actually has tourmaline, which ionizes your hair, and what that does is it reduces static, which I personally struggle with a lot. Like anytime I touch anything metallic, I usually get shocked. Just, I don't know, the result of having super dry, like, hair, skin, everything, I think. And if the environment is also dry, then it dry, then it's ten times worse. But this has really helped me. Um, I feel like my hair is so much softer and smoother, and I definitely don't feel the static. So I can, like, go like this. Before, I would feel like my hair is just, like, pulling up, you know, as if I had a balloon. But with this, it, it doesn't happen. Like, my hair is just, like, smooth and straight and pretty nice. It's actually kind of ironic since it is a hot tool, but I feel like my hair looks healthier since I've been using it. I normally wouldn't recommend using a hot tool to make your hair healthier and stronger and whatever it may be, but for some reason this works. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to try the Dyson Corral is because I actually heard that it made your hair healthier or it didn't like fully damage it as much as other hair um, hot tools do. It also has flexible plates, which is really good because something that I struggle with with other hair straighteners is that it actually would like pull my hair and would like break it and really damage it just because it would like get tangled and whatever it may be. But these plates actually what it does is it just like adjusts to your hair and flows through so that it doesn't end up pulling any hair. Um, I'm going to try to show you if you can see that they move. They're literally flexible plates. So yeah, I love that because it doesn't pull my hair at all. I personally use the Corel to straighten my hair, but you can also use it to curl it if you want to. I just have the Beach Waver, which I absolutely love and will never get anything else to curl my hair other than the Beach Waver. Highly, highly recommend. But um, this one is ideal really to straighten your hair. I think it does a fantastic job at it. If you're feeling creative, you can try to curl it with this one. I'm personally just not very good in general at curling my hair with a straightener. I know people do it and they do a great job at it. I just, I don't know how to do it. 
lastly one other cool thing about Dyson is their warranty so like I said I do have other Dyson products and I've had an amazing experience with their customer service team and with the warranty so it does have a two-year warranty and you can just like register it very quickly once you buy it um, and pretty much anything that happens to it almost everything is covered to be honest with you so very very good warranty service very good customer service team like they respond right away they help immediately and I haven't had any issues with this one but I did have a couple issues with our um, vacuum and they were super quick to help and everything was super smooth so highly highly recommend that for that reason as well Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I use this product to strain my hair. I start by turning on the Dyson Corral, which all you have to do is press the power button and then press the plus button. That's the one that you can also use to increase the temperature of your hair straightener. I like to use my Kristen S hair comb so that I can separate my hair and I can use it while I am straightening different strands. I go through straining my hair and it takes me 10 minutes or less. Obviously my hair is relatively straight so it doesn't take too many passes but I do probably like two to three passes per um, like strand of hair. What I like about it is that you can get pretty close to your scalp without actually burning yourself so it's designed pretty well so that you can actually get everywhere and truly truly strain your hair. review i hope you learned a little bit more about the dyson corral and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section if you are interested in buying the dyson corral i will leave a few links in the description so you can try it out from different places i will say they do have some sales or like special offers um especially in like best buy and nordstrom and things like that so keep an eye out on those sites so that you can get the best deal sometimes they'll like discount it or they'll pack like this one with a kid which comes with like um, a hair comb and a hairbrush Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time!